Hello guys, hope uh, you're having an amazing week today. I wanted to talk about this actually like some days ago because at my full-time job at Nike there was a guy that I wanted to throw a party and he wanted me to DJ. So I was talking to him about the prices, about the time, about what do I have to do, what music uh, does he want for his party. And there was this other guy that is well actually an asshole <laughs> and he was like no but it's not worth that much. I could do that for a lower price. DJing is just playing one one song after the other so I, I was just so mad about it and I thought fuck no dude so today I'm gonna talk about 10 things that DJ are tired of hearing number one it is just playing one song after other I mean I could do that with nap on my phone well actually no you couldn't well I mean you could but it wouldn't be as nice as a DJ that has equipment that sometimes is valuable for a thousand dollars even more usually more than a thousand dollars then the fact that I have to look for the music that I have to buy the music not download it like from YouTube mp3 converter something like that then you have to go and speak with the bar owner or the party owner and you have to talk about contracts and payment analyzing the music in record box uh, if you're going to record your set a lot of things that a DJ has to do that are involved in being a DJ because the easiest part is mixing the music the hardest part is everything else trust me being a DJ is not an easy job and I'm quite sure of it because I have been DJing for five years and fuck it has not been an easy path at all number two is not worth that much okay so it's kind of related to the last topic people are usually telling you like for example here in costa rica 200 dollars for a five hour party would be something nice not excellent but nice for the equipment for example for the equipment that i have for the experience that i have for the music that i could play 200 dollars would be okay for five hours well that was the situation the other day for example the guy was telling me like the other guy the asshole went right he was telling me like no i could pay you like 40 dollars and I was like, $40, dude, are you fucking serious? I'm not going to take $40 for five hours, stand up, mixing, talking to the people, trying them not to sit down and DJ price, it's the right price. How do you know if a DJ is asking you for too much or too less money? Well, see the quality, see the equipment, see the experience. If not, you can ask other DJs and then you will see about the, the estimated price, the, the average price. Number three. Oh man, yeah, this party is awesome. Can you play this song? And, and then they mumble it. They like... Eh, eh, oh, oh, First of all, this place is so loud. I cannot hear you. Don't try to mumble the song because I will not hear it properly. And also, what if I don't have it? Write it on a paper and if I have it and if it fits the mood, I will play it. Number four. Oh man, can you play the song again? Fuck no, I'm not going to play the same song two times. Maybe there will be an exception in where I play the original mix of a song, then a remix. And uh, I, I actually wanted to show you an example of this. So this is the unmastered version of the set that I recorded on February the 11th. Um, and you can hear almost like 24 minutes that I play Ender's Gonna Be Mine. And then I play the remix by Abstract and Logic. And I mean, it fits well because even though it's the same song, it feels like it has two different drops because there are actually two different drops the original one and the remix one like let me show you so it's like the full song divided in two different moods i could do that but I'm not going to play, I don't know, uh, whatever, Despacito, losing it, whatever it is, two times on a night, just no. Number five. Oh man, then I'm quite sure you're such a drug addict and you take like coke and marijuana, well, weed for the food, you know? And like uh, heroin and uh, edibles and not necessarily. I don't do drugs and that doesn't mean hey, I'm a bad DJ. Well, 
I am a bad DJ, but not because I don't take drugs. I may drink like a couple beers a night, something little, but you wouldn't see me smoking weed, doing coke, taking edibles, taking LSD. I am not trying to moralize. If you do it, well, it's your body, it's okay. But don't think that every DJ is a drug addict because not really. Number six. Hey, uh, can I put no, uh, no, can I put my bag, my purse, my jacket, my whatever it is under the DJ booth? No, no, of course not, because I will be mixing, I will be paying attention to the decks, to the mixer, but not to your belongings. You got me? You feel me? <laughs> Number seven fuck man you're rich i'm sure i i'm sure you have jade as i told you i have a full-time job i am trying to be a dj as a way of living that's right that's completely right and there will be people not earning a million dollars a night a thousand dollars a night maybe a hundred dollars a night everybody has to start from the bottom djs are not necessarily rich not necessarily womanizers and in the case of girls, not necessarily supermodels, get off those stereotypes because it's not okay. Number eight. Oh man, I sent you my EP, my track, my album, my whatever it is. Can you play it tonight? I will take a listen. If I have the time, if I listen to it, if it fits the mood that I'm going to play at, great, I will play it. But if it is something recorded with your garage band on your Nokia 2730, on your bedroom, I will not play it because it just doesn't fit. It's like putting a marshmallow inside a piggy bank. It wouldn't fit, it wouldn't enter. Don't force it, okay? Number nine. Hey, you know, mate, uh, we're friends, so can you DJ at my party? For sure I can DJ at your party. Uh, we'll have to talk about payment. We'll have to talk about equipment, about if the party's going off too late. I will have to say the fact that if somebody spills a drink over my equipment, how are you going to pay me? And there will be times, and actually a lot of times, that your friend will be like, no, but like, you're my friend. It, it, it would be okay if I give you a couple of beers. No, it's my job. I'm not going to DJ for free. For sure, I'm not going to. If you're my friend and I know you have the money to pay DJ, go ahead head maybe less than the usual okay but pay me because it's my job because it's what I'm trying to do as a way of living and if I give it away I would be so stupid if you're good at doing something don't give it away don't do it for free and number 10 and I am so sick of this let's suppose I am playing tech house deep house jack-in and there comes this guy that tells me hey can you play whatever other genre just doesn't fit like can you play hardstyle I am in an underground bar I'm not going to play hardstyle well play rhythm no I'm not going to play rhythm if you tell me play some soft future house okay that could fit and there's always these people like I am playing electro house I'm playing something so hard and they are like play lo-fi hip-hop play reggaeton i don't have anything against all the other genres that electronic and non-electronic music has but the same if it fits the mood it's okay if not just don't ask for it and the same if i have to dj or a party and they ask me to play reggaeton okay i will do it don't ask me to play electronic music in that moment because even though i would be dying to play it i'm not gonna do it because it wouldn't fit the mood so those are 10 things that DJs are tired of hearing. I hope you liked the video. If you're a DJ, if you're not, give me a like anyway. Share it with your friends so they can get to know me. Sorry if my accent is kind of thick. Sorry if I made some grammar mistakes. I, I'm giving the best of me. The best, the best, the and as always, thanks for watching. Okay, keep dancing. I love you all.